Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to I Lost My Keys. Today, we are playing Volt Copy of the Heretic's Pit. Now, if you did not see me open up this deck, you can go check out my last video. I definitely think you should go check it out. There was something very awesome that popped up in this deck. Actually, for fun, I just wanted to show you guys something. So the video where I opened up Volt Copy has 43 views already, and I just uploaded this video yesterday. So thank you guys for all the support and watching my videos, I really appreciate it. Obviously, if you like the videos and you wanna check out more, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into playing some TCO. Okay, so we got Volt Copy right here, and so let's get ourselves into a game. Or I could just join one of these games. Darkwater already has a casual game going, so let's just join Darkwater's game. Okay, and so far, TCO still looks pretty different. H, F, G, L. Um, I'm a mulligan, because that's a hand that I don't want to start with. <laughs> Seems pretty decent. Okay, they are choosing logos, and they decide to play a Titan mechanic. Also, they are also playing an Age of Ascension deck, and I'm excited to see how this goes. Let's see, do they have any artifact control? I think Strange Gizmo is artifact control, if I remember correctly. Okay, we're choosing Dis. We're gonna play Key to Dis. I'm going to play a Charette, even though I wouldn't necessarily want to play that right now. I'm gonna play York on the left. I'm gonna discard Stormcrawler, and that'll be my turn. Oh wow, both the uh, hidden stashes are in my hand. Okay, they decide to choose Mars. They're playing a Fixed Fingers. Oh, and they're playing a Beam Buckler, and they decide to do two damage to Charette. Now it is my turn. I think I'm going to play... Oh wait, wrong house. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to choose Shadows. Wait, there we go. Cool, okay. Uh, let me think them really quick. I will deploy left here. Yeah, there we go. I am going to put a Dusk Runner on York, and I'm going to archive the Zookeeper, and I'm also going to archive Gub, and that'll be my turn. Wow, very big Shadow's turn. They're choosing Logos. They're playing Strange Gizmo and Director of ZYX, and they are going to reap with Titan Librarian. And I guess it's my turn. Well, I'm gonna have to go Shadows. So I'm gonna Reap with Lamindra. I am now going to play Whistling Darts. I'm going to play a Brend on the right. I'm going to play a Bullet Eye on the left. I'm gonna play Too Much to Protect just for the Amber. And I'm going to play my Throwing Stars and I'm gonna deal one here, and let's just deal damage here. Okay, and that'll be my turn. We'll see what they do. Oh, I got a pretty good Mars hand for next turn. They are choosing Logos. They played Project ZYX. They reaped with Director of ZYX, and they reaped with Titan Librarian as well. So they are archiving a lot of cards. Okay, so I'm gonna forge the blue key. I'm actually gonna go shadows, I think. I'm going to fight here, get rid of... What? Why didn't it kill it? Does it have... Oh, oh it does have elusive. I didn't even realize it had elusive. Okay, well, I could have gained one more amber, but... Alas, I messed up. Reap here. We'll just do this. And I'm probably playing this a bit too early. But I don't want them to reap for a lot, so we're just gonna call it there. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, I should have let them forge their key because their epic quest could be destroyed. Oh my goodness. So they played Baron Menjavin, the Grey Rider, and another Grey Rider. And they are reaping a lot. Wow. That was a really good turn. And they're still going. Wow, that turn was insane. 
I need to play like slightly conservative. I'm gonna do Mars. We are going to play Floxum Spike. I can't play Sample Collection right now. I could play Sniffer just for the Amber, which I'll do. And I'm actually gonna stop here because they're gonna wipe the board. Yep. That's what I knew was gonna happen. So they're choosing Mars. Ooh, Amber Conduction Unit. Vizima Think Drone and Sky Booster Squadron. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good for me. So I'm gonna forge the red key. Let's go Dis. I'm gonna take my archives back. First off, we're gonna play Lash of Broken Dreams. Now that's not gonna get destroyed. We're gonna play Gub right there. We're gonna play Charette on the right. And we're gonna play Blood Shard Imp on the left. Just a quick little cycle turn. And that'll be it. They decide to choose Logos as their active house. And they're playing Research Smoko. And that is it. I can archive a lot of their stuff now. So that being said, let's do that. Now I could always reap for three here, but I don't want to do that because they're going to get stunned. So we're going to go Mars. I'm going to play the Zookeeper on the left. I'm going to play Red Planet Raygun on Zookeeper. I'm going to play Vizima Think Drone on the right. And I'm going to play my first sample collection. Let's archive Smoko and play my second sample collection. We're going to get rid of Vizima. And that'll be my turn. Oh, wow. No, they stole my Zookeeper. That's not good because they played Hypno Beam. And yeah, yeah, they played Hypno Beam. They used Sky Booster to fight Vizima, and they used Ulix to reap. Oh, and it died because of Blood Shard Imp. Well, that's good. I'm gonna play Dis. So we're gonna go Blood Shard Imp. We're gonna fight into Sky Booster. I am now going to play Dust Imp on the left and Charette on the left. I'm gonna play not finished with you. And we're gonna bring back a charrette, a York. I think Brend as well would be nice. And Zookeeper and Vizima. Actually, I should get cards that are gonna make me have a better battle fleet turn. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Yeah. That works for me. I'm gonna take the three Mars creatures I have and then just a little bit of Amber Control. There we go. And now I am going to reap here and I'm going to reap here. And just for fun, why not? We'll use Lash of Broken Dreams even though it does nothing. Okay, they are choosing Sanctum. They played Maruk the Marked. They played Shield of Justice just to gain the Amber. And then they also played Bordan the Redeemed. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Shadows. I'm gonna play Skeleton Key. I'm gonna play Game G on the left. I'm gonna play Life for a Life, gain one Amber. And we're gonna sacrifice Dust Imp. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> GG. That was quick. <laughs> that was a fun game. We didn't even get to see Battle Fleet, unfortunately, though. But hey, that was fun. So this is editing Billy here. And I just realized that I never actually showed the SAS of the other person's deck. So let's just check that out really quick. So I got the name of their deck, Truth Vala Belt Baker. And it was a 65 SAS deck. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Bolt Copy had a lot of stuff over this deck. Definitely not an effective power, though. Jeez. Wow, it's effective. Power is crazy. Yeah, this is probably a slightly unfair advantage. So I think this might have been a slightly unfair advantage, but it wasn't that far off from Volt Copy's SAS, which was 70 if you guys didn't know. But yeah, that was still a really fun game. But yeah, this was probably a tad bit unfair. So that was Volt Copy of the Heretic's Pit. Unfortunately, we did not get to see Battle Fleet come out, but I was preparing for it. But uh, who knows, maybe I'll play this deck again. I feel like that was a somewhat lame 
game for a volt copy, but I still had fun. I will see you guys Tuesday where I'll open up a new show me some sass pack, but until then I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.